Did I just grumble? I hear someone there. Could you please do me a favor? Huh? Uh... Paimon could have sworn she just heard something. Excuse me, is someone passing by? Could you do me a favor, please? Nope, Paimon wasn't dreaming. There's someone over there for sure. But Paimon doesn't see anyone. Did you hear my call? Thank you so much. I'm over here, inside this big box. Uh, you're inside the box? Oh, no wonder Paimon didn't see anything. Well, come on, Traveler, let's go take a look. Um, why are you hiding in here anyway? If we hadn't happened to pass by, you could have been stuck for days. Ah, uh, it's a bit complicated. Uh, can we not talk about that for now? Whoa, that's terrible. Did someone seriously do that to you? No, no, it was nothing quite that serious. I'd just like some help finding my hat. Just your hat? But then, why can't you look for it yourself? Huh. <gasps> Wait, Paimon gets it! Something must have happened to your hair! Sorry, sorry! So that's what happened. Paimon gets it now. <laughs> No wonder why you had to hide inside the box. You just need your hat, right? We'll get it back to you right away. What kind of hat was it? I think you may have misunderstood me, but... Uh, never mind. Please, just help me find my hat. 
It's a soft and brown hat with a bit of a brim. Nothing fancy. I think I probably lost it near the entrance elevator. It was getting a bit hot, so I took it off and had a quick nap. But oh, when I came to, it was gone. It's really important to me, so your help would mean the world. I'll wait here for your return. Don't worry, we'll be back in no time. Well, <laughs> I'm just standing in for Mr. Alvar while he's off restocking the shop. Now just wait a sec. A blonde foreigner dressed all in white, accompanied by a glaze-covered flying chunk of gingerbread. Well, you must be the legendary traveler and their companion Paimon. No! Uh, well, you're half right. Paimon's the traveler's treasured companion, sure, but she's not some flying chunk of gingerbread! Sorry, sorry, I just, I never thought I'd get the chance to see you with my own eyes, so, got a bit ahead of myself. I hope you find it in your magnanimous hearts to forgive my discourtesy. I'm just a nobody, after all. There's no need to put yourself down like that. Paimon's just venting. Why, your heroic actions at Araneus have long made their way to the fortress of Meripede. We heard that you were personally received by his grace when you made your way down here, you know. Ah, you were the envy of all. And you're one of His Grace's favorite people, so of course, everyone wants to be introduced to you. <laughs> well, I'd figure you'd appreciate honesty over flattery. After all, I also only joined up here because I'd heard Mr. Alvar was a good friend of the Duke. And though I've only caught scant sight of His Grace since then, as fate would have it, I've become fast friends with Mr. Alvar himself. I mean, we've all got agendas, but rather than trying to force something to be true, it's often better to just go with the flow. Oh, so now you're trying to kiss up to us. Well, I did mean it when I called you legends, and it is indeed an honor to meet the two of you. Oh, right, enough of that. Is there something you're looking for? No problem. Anything else? Hey, feel free to check out anything you want. The credit coupon costs are on me. Wait, but that's... uh... You don't have to be so nice. Well, it's not like I'm getting paid to watch this shop. Instead of more or coupons, Mr. Alvar usually lets me just take my pick of our goods. Life's been pretty good recently, so I might as well just wave your bill. Never hurts to make some friends. Alright, Pino will take a look. Are you sure you don't want more? These opportunities don't come by every day, you know. It's all right. Two will do. Uh, it just doesn't feel the same if the owner's offering everything to you for free. But anyway, we don't need to get into that right now. We can discuss Pymonology later. That poor guy must still be waiting for us. Uh, thank you so much. We'll be off then. No problem, and thank you for your patronage. 
I'd appreciate it if you could put in a nice word for our establishment the next time you speak to His Grace. That's a real sneaky way of getting good reviews. We've been gone a while. Paimon hopes that guy in the box hasn't passed out from lack of air. <laughs> Time to go. You can come out now! We found your hat! You did? Oh, Archon! You just saved my life! In just one sec! Hmm. <laughs> Uh... Wait! So... You're not actually bald! You've got such a full head of hair, too! <sighs> I mean, I told you that there had been a misunderstanding. This has nothing to do with my hair. Wait, uh, uh, this isn't my hat. Well, we got you a new one. We tried really hard to look for your hat, but no dice. I see! Thank you so much. I'm really grateful, but unfortunately, there's just something special about my hat. Does it have some kind of sentimental value? But, um, sorry, I can't explain at the moment. Time's tight as well, so I suppose I'll keep looking for a while. If you're looking for a hat, I just picked one up over here. Is it yours? Your Grace! Oh, hey, Risley! It's been a while! Well, it's a slow day today, so I decided to go for a little stroll. Even if your workspace isn't cramped, it's still good to get some air. I'll say I'm not at all surprised to find the two of you here. You never could turn down someone's request for help. <laughs> it's what good adventurers do, after all. Is that so? Maybe I should consider asking the Adventurers Guild to open a branch here. As I recall, these hats are very important to members of the Beret Society. Best you avoid misplacing it again, hmm? You might not have the same luck next time. Uh, understood. Th thank you so much, Your Grace. Then... Uh, then I'll be off. Um... I... I'll get going now. What a strange guy. Why did he care so much about his hat? Oh, and has he done something wrong? When he saw you, it was as if he'd seen a ghost! Oh, not at all. In fact, members of the Beret Society are model prisoners. They work hard and never get into trouble. They save me a lot of work, in fact. As for him, I'd guess he's just more of an introvert. It's not unusual for the more shy prisoners to freak out when I show up unannounced. Huh? Shy? There are prisoners who are afraid to talk to people? Prisoners are still people, after all. There are as many crimes and motives as there are stars in the sky. The idea of the criminal as a selfish, heartless brute is just a stereotype. Such labels could never capture the complexity of even a single individual person. What kind of a person a prisoner may be and, and why they've committed a crime? We'd never know these things if they don't share their story with us. Huh. You've got a point. Anyway, it's all good as long as it makes sense to you. Although most of the societies here will just turn individual brawls into mass ones, the Beret Society does appear to be an exception, and it's instead trying to experiment with some novel and interesting things. If you have some time, why don't we grab something at the Coupon Cafeteria? It'll give us time to catch up, too. And if you're still interested in the Berets after that, I can take you to their usual gathering place as well. Of that cafeteria, but if we're gonna catch up. Alright then, please follow me. <laughs> Welcome, Your Grace, and the Traveler. Would you like three orders of today's welfare meal? Unfortunately, we weren't informed of your visit in advance, so we didn't prepare any super deluxe welfare meals today. I'll pass on the food, then. What about you? Then Paimon will also pass. Paimon will save her stomach for something better. Hmm, what a pity. It would seem that none of us can properly appreciate your skills, Walsey. 
<laughs> then I must beg your grace to find me some more ingredients so I can come up with some more welfare meal recipes. If you're not in the mood to eat, I can get you some drinks. We just got some great shipments in from above. Yes, please? Huh. Hyman didn't know you could get non-welfare stuff at this place. <laughs> it's not for everyone. Think of it as a special treat for VIPs. Oh, now that's what Paima likes to hear. In that case, two bottles of the drink for Paimon, please. Two bottles coming right up. Our first meeting took place on short notice, and we were both swamped by everything that happened after, so there was no time for more casual chit-chat. I'm actually quite fond of stories, you know. Of course, the others have already told me a lot about your deeds in Fontaine, but I'd love to hear it straight from the source. Oh, that'd be quite the long story. Impressive. Not all who possess the courage to risk their life for their ideals also have the strength to make it out unscathed. Had you not possessed these remarkable qualities, I probably wouldn't have had the chance to make your acquaintance in the first place. Uh, Paimon gets the sense that you're trying to flatter us. That guy we talked to earlier was obviously trying to get us to put in a good word for him, but you're the Duke, right? Why would you need to get on our good side? Well, after all, you did help the fortress and I maintain our autonomy. Is it so strange that I would want to give a few words of praise out of genuine admiration? <laughs> so this is a matter of trust. Which is unfortunate, since I don't have nearly as interesting of a story to offer about myself. I was convicted and sent here at an early age. I only became the top dog after spending a long time figuring out its inner workings. Power and control come in many forms, some fair and ethical, others less so. And since we're all sinners here, the victor calls the shots, no matter how they manage to get to the top. So, what do you think? Didn't put you much more at ease, now did it? I... Uh, kinda. You're really different from most of the people we've met so far. <laughs> I'm perfectly aware of that too, but even so, that doesn't make me think any less of you. I would very much like to maintain friendly relations with you two. Your Grace, after following your instructions, we were able to find a box of undeclared contraband in the latest shipment of cargo. They were extremely well hidden, and we've confirmed that the senders have been using this method to smuggle goods for a while. We're trying to trace the goods to their source. Got it. Leave the box here and contact me immediately if you make any progress. You're dismissed. Yes, Your Grace. Sorry, I had almost completely forgotten about this. She mentioned something about contraband. Are they, like, dangerous goods? Not necessarily. The term is just applied to things people want to bring in on the sly. Many people here are experts at pulling rabbits out of the most ordinary hats. So we have to examine everything carefully. Now, what do we have here? Hmm, it's more or less what I expected. Whoa, this is certainly a box of curiosities. Mora, snacks, yarn, balls, ropes, mechanical parts, and even a gem. Wait, if you've confiscated this entire box, then does that mean all of this belongs to you now? Mm, yep, we can't just send them back up now, can we? Traveler, why don't you become a duke as well? Paima will be your vault keeper! Jokes aside, I didn't know you'd be so interested in this box. How about this then? You can pick anything you want from it. Consider it a gift from me. Really? You'll let Paima pick anything? No take backs, Paima will have you know that she's got a real good eye for treasure. I never joke about things like this. Alright, Paima's gonna have a look. This dark, sparkly gem, you just know it must be worth a ton of Mora. Um, I... Uh, actually, never mind, Paima doesn't want this gem anymore. Can Paima pick something else instead? There's something weird about this gem. Paima remembered a lot of bad things when 
she picked it up. Paimon couldn't even turn them out. It's as if the gem was just drawing them out of Paimon's brain. It was super spooky. Is that so? Let me give it a try. <laughs> Paimon's right. I do experience some unpleasant flashbacks. Are you sure? I wouldn't exactly call it fun. Fair enough. Go ahead. I don't think it'll have a permanent effect. I'll take this gem, then, and run a thorough investigation on its properties. Paimon, feel free to pick something else. Then... actually, never mind. Paimon's gonna pass. Paimon was thinking about one of the snacks, but who knows if it'll also make Paimon sick. You do have a point. In that case, we should destroy the entire box and all of its contents. Seems like we're almost done with our drinks, too. Let's go check out the Society's Gathering Place, then. I can introduce you, and we can also continue our conversation while we're at it. Wait, are you this free every day or something? Just noticed. I wasn't exactly busy the first time we met either. <laughs>